This video is for current and new group leaders to show how your tools have been displayed on our new website and how they've been improved. If you are an instructor or coach and are not yet a shot-by-shot -shot group leader, please contact us for information about pricing options at info at shotbyshot.com. Just tell us briefly who you are, what sort of group you represent, and the approximate number of players. Give us an email and phone and we'll get back to you quickly. Enter your username and password to access your group leader account. Note the navigation is along the top bar. This is your personal account to add and edit courses, enter and edit rounds, and analyze rounds. Each of these functions are covered in a separate short video, but let's start with adding a group course. Select Enter New Course. Complete this information form with the details of your course. Again, there is a separate video explaining this process, but it is very simple. The point here is to enter the course information. Add multiple T's, provided that PARs for each hole are the same. Check the group course box and save the course. The course will appear correctly in the course list of each of your group members, regardless of when you add them to your group. One of our new features is the group course icon. This will clearly indicate to your members that it is a group course that you added. Further, only you the group leader can edit or change it. Now let's look at your admin tools. They are group profile. This describes your group and the number of players you have signed up to add to your group. Your member list, you'll use this a lot, and the create and view player ranking reports. Let's start with the section that you will use the most, the members list. This is where you go to add new players, view their activity and analysis. Your members will be listed in alphabetical order. This envelope icon or mail icon will send a welcome email to your member. That is, provided you have entered the correct email address. The password icon will send the member a reminder of their username and password. To access the player's account, simply click on their name. The system will take you to their profile where you can see and edit their information. The player's name, their username and password, which I have blacked out for the purposes of this demonstration. You can edit their email address and save it, and you can also impersonate the member. This allows you to analyze their rounds just as if you were the member. The system takes you to the member's account and directly to their Analyze Rounds screen. You can analyze selected rounds from their list of rounds, or you can use our very flexible filtering options. While you are impersonating a member, the system will remind you with the member's name and their username. In the the upper right hand corner. To exit their account, simply hit the drop down box and select log out. The system will take you directly to your group leader account. An important tool in the members list is the add new golfer feature. This opens up a clean golfer profile that you complete and save. I will go through it briefly. First name, last name, email address is important. If you do not know the player's email address, I suggest you enter a placeholder such as abc at de com. You can edit it later and resend the welcome email. Username and password. This is not a banking system. I suggest that you make them very short and simple, something that you remember will easily remember, and make them the same. For example, I might assign myself Peter S. Peter S. The system will warn you if a username is already in use. Simply try another one. Gender. The default is male because 75 to 80 percent of our users are men, but it is important to switch this for female users. The comparative data is different and the analysis will be much more appropriate. Date of birth. If you know it, please enter it, but you can skip it. It's optional. Finally, current handicap and target handicap. Set these using the drop-down boxes. The current handicap should be the player's handicap at whatever tees they normally play, not their USGA index. Set the target just below, but as close as possible. This will provide the most relevant feedback and establish attainable improvement goals. When you save the new member, you will be return to your member list and the new member will be present in alpha order. The final tools concern the player ranking reports. There is a separate video describing this feature. If your group does not have this feature, the video will explain it. Contact us if you would like to add this feature to your group.